All right, looks like we're live. Okay, this is Diesel Core's new coach, Power Hour Training. All right, guys, so tonight, uh, like I said, I want to just give you guys a condensed version of all the things you need to know to get started right on your business um, as a brand new coach. I'm gonna give you the fundamentals, I'm gonna give you a quick little tour of the back office, or at least everything that you need to know for the back office right away. Uh, but I want you to know that it is your job to also review the new coach kickoff guide and complete all the tasks on that guide. It may not happen all in one sitting, but be sure to get that done because that's gonna, give, that's gonna be your roadmap to really getting a head start on your business. Okay, so before we go into my PowerPoint, what I do wanna do is give you guys a quick background, a, a quick tour of the back office, okay? Sometimes you'll hear us call the back office the COO, and that stands for Coach Online Office. So all three of those things are interchangeable. Back office, COO, Coach Online Office, it's all the same thing. And the way you access that is by going to www.teambeachbody.com, this is what it'll look like. Make sure that you're signed in. So if this says signed out, that means you're signed in. If this says signed in, that means you need to click it and enter your email and the password that you use to set up your account when you signed as a coach. So once you get to the screen, you're gonna go over coach and coach online office. And somebody's unmuted, so if you guys can just mute yourselves just so that we don't have a lot of feedback. Uh, since this is a training. Okay, so here we go. This is your back office. Somebody that is not a coach will not see this. They will not have a, a, a back office for themselves. So because you're a coach, you now have your coach online office. And this is what you're going to use to run your business. The $15.95 fee that you're going to be paying monthly as a coach, what you're paying for is this. The, the the tools to run your business and not only that but it's also to pay for um inventory so you guys know as coaches we don't have to carry an inventory if you want to tell psychology or a challenge pack or a program you don't have to have a stock at home and invest all this crazy money uh we've got like really great warehouses and a little bit it's been a little shaky lately with um with ship, shipping because we moved from one warehouse to a bigger warehouse that's actually the size of um, Amazon's warehouse, so it's it's ginormous. But you know, it, it's all kind of settling and um, and less errors are being made. But nonetheless, we do have that um, that benefit of not having to have any inventory. And so your fifteen dollar and ninety five cent fee that you pay a month pays for this back office and the inventory. Um, warehouses okay so your coach on um, id right here this number so it'll say your name this is fernando's back office but your coach id that's kind of like your social security in this business you want to make sure that you um if you're if you can't memorize it if your memory sucks like mine does although i know both of my coach ids um you want to have this saved maybe in your notes section of your phone or any other way that you use to remember things maybe you have a notepad you carry around with you or a planner but this coach id pretty much for almost everything you do in this business that's the first thing that's going to be asked of you what's your coach id okay um, other than that, all this is pretty self-explanatory and I beg you guys to kind of come in here one night while you're watching TV um, and you've got some off time, just sit here and press every button and figure out what everything is, okay? Uh, off here to the right is Coach Breaking News. Everything that's happening in the business, all the things you need to know, all the breaking news is here. So when you see all of a sudden uh, a sale, People talking about it on Facebook, you're like, how the heck do they know this stuff? They know it because they check the coach breaking news and they know they're in the know of what's happening. So you always want to be in the know of what's happening. Every Monday morning, we have a national wake up call. And you could always find the replay just in case you missed that call at 11 a.m. Eastern time. You can always get the replay under coach breaking news. All right. Um, the next thing I want to show you back here is my websites. This is very important for you to know how to do because uh, chances are if you've been in a challenge group for a couple of weeks now and everybody's noticing your results and you sign as a coach because you're ready to get started and start building your business, the first thing people are going to want to know is how can I order from you? So you want to make sure you have your website set up. You want to put your name, add a phone number, okay, we're in business, you need to add a phone number so people can contact you. I highly recommend you change this beautiful logo to a picture of yourself. 
a picture where we can see your beautiful face so that when people come to your link, it doesn't feel generic. It feels customized and about, um, and they feel like they're joining you, not just a company. And here you could add a quick um, little bio about yourself. And up here, this right here is your link. That's the link. Hold on, let me move you guys to the bottom. Okay, there you go. This is the link that you are gonna give to your potential customers, okay? So if your cousin is ready to join you, she says, oh my God, I can't believe how great you look. I want to do what you're doing. How can I order that? Or how can I get that? This is the link you're gonna give your cousin. This is automatically going to link her purchase to you as her coach, okay? So, or him, him or her. Um, so this is the link you want to make sure that you know that link beachbodycoach.com is always for your customers and at the end is the screen name so just kind of remember uh teambeachbody.com is for you to access your online office but beachbodycoach.com is for your customers okay and we also have two other um websites that you could edit one's a shakeology so that website is Everything and more about Shakeology it goes deep down into what Shakeology is. Every uh, breaks down every ingredient, every every superfood, um, its benefits, any of the questions that you want to know. That you know there are health nuts out there that really want to know specifics. You want to send them to this uh, Shakeology website. And again, if you click on it, you'll see that you have a a customized link for only Shakeology. It's thinking. And then you also have one for Ultimate Reset. If you don't know what Ultimate Reset it is, is it's our intense 21 day cleanse. Um, I've never completed it and I need to, I know I need to, uh, but I've only heard amazing things about it. And, um, and if you have somebody that's interested in that, you want to send them to this page so that they can get every detail about it as well. So here, as you see, the website changes if it's um, that they only want to know intense details about Shakeology. This is where you would send them. And again, if they happen to click buy Shakeology, it's going to be linked to you. Okay, so that's my website. Make sure you get those set up. Um, I'm going to skip through this. This is kind of going to be your responsibility to, you know, like I said, click and figure out what it all does. It's pretty self-explanatory. Every logo you need possible is here. Success stories, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Figure that out. My business, I'm gonna show you two things that are really important here. First and foremost, you need to make sure that you set up your direct deposit, okay? Uh, your direct deposit, you wanna have that done because if you have a live check mailed to you, like <laughs> Fernando does here, and we need to fix that. Um, if you have a live check sent to you, you're going to get $2.50 deducted uh, for mailing purposes. And also, you're not going to see that check for about almost a week and a half after you've earned your, your earnings. And who wants to wait? Nobody wants to wait. When you have direct deposit every Thursday morning, you will wake up to a deposit into your account. So that's the route you want to go on. Uh, the second thing out of my business that I want to show you is my commissions. This is where you will click to see your weekly commissions, okay? So all the money you earn. When you finally, like this looks like it was a Shakeology sold. If you want to see who you sold it or sold it to, or actually no, it was a team bonus. And so, okay, if it were retail, then here we could click here and figure out who it came from, okay? Um, if you want to find out what any, any, any other earning was, you just click on it and it'll be, it's all self-explanatory. And let me see if there's anything else I want to show you guys here. That's all for now, okay? Um, there's a bunch of stuff here, and again, you can click around and start to figure it out. But I usually don't like to get into all the stuff until you've advanced your business to Emerald, and a lot of the stuff will start making sense when you are an Emerald coach, okay? Um, you can click here, figure out how to send out mass e-cards. Here's incentive and rewards, news and training. You definitely want to play around in here. And then success is personal development. We are very, very, very heavy on personal development in this business, working on yourself on the inside while you are working on the outside. And also it kind of gives you like that mental power strength to get through this business because it's not... Uh, while this business is fun, while this business is fulfilling, while this business is something that is going to make you um, feel great, there's ups and downs just like anything else. And so you to stay focused and to stay in it and to really power through maybe a couple of objections that you may get or, or anything that may be coming your way, you want to be reading your personal development or watching webinars and really working on yourself. And so they even have a tab in our back office of free personal development webinars, um, 
and all, uh, podcasts that you can listen to. All right, so I think that's all I'm going to really concentrate on when it comes to the back office. All right, so let me give me one second. Okay, let's jump over to our PowerPoint. All right, so the two main goals as a brand new coach, okay? This is if you are a brand new coach that wants to begin building your business. And because you're on tonight's call, that's telling me you want to build your business. You want to learn everything possible. And with that being said, one of the things that we are as Beach Ready coaches are goal setters, okay? We believe in setting goals and knowing where you're going because if not, you can kind of just flap with the wind and it's going to be like if you're throwing darts at the air instead of darts at a dartboard and um, really calculated moves. So the first two goals as a brand new coach should be to advance yourself to Emerald rank, and I'll talk about what that means, and to achieve success club, and I'll also talk about what that means. Um, the first question I always get when I present these two new goals as a coach, um, I'm sorry, two main goals as a new coach is, well, how fast should I get this done? Well, it's been done in a week. <laughs> Before, I've seen it happen in a week, and I've seen it happen in six months. It, again, if you were on a business opportunity call with me, or maybe you talked to the coach that joined you, I hope that they told you that this business is exactly what you want to make it. And you are in charge. It's not just a cliche saying when we say you're a CEO of your business. No, you really are a CEO of your business. You are the boss and how fast you want to go or how slow you want to go is completely up to you. I think a healthy, a healthy goal to set for yourself is to get these two things done within a 30 day period of becoming a coach. But again, that is up to you. What you want out of this business, the burning why that brought you here, the reason why you signed as a coach and said, you know what, I really want to give this a shot. Tap into that and figure out how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Because if you want it really bad, then here are the first two things that you need to cross off your list. All right, so Emerald, what does that mean? It means you sponsor your first two coaches to your team. So as you see, an activated Emerald coach, you, and you have 50 PV, and we'll talk about in a second what PV stands for. You have 50 PV and you sponsor a coach on your left that also has 50 PV and a coach on your right that also has 50 PV. We do work on a binary system. Binary means two legs and it grows down from, the, from there. Um, and so to advance yourself to Emerald, you want to sponsor two, one on each side. Simple enough, enough, very simple. Okay, now why Emerald? Why is Emerald so important? Well, first and foremost, you begin to earn what we call team cycle bonuses. Team cycle bonuses is the residual income in this business. So there's really three main ways to earn in this business. One is commission-based, okay, it's the simplest form. You sell something, you earn a commission. The second is team cycle bonuses, which are what you are unlocking here, becoming an emerald. And team cycle bonuses is the residual income that's earned by your team. So now you've started, to, you, you've brought in two coaches to your team and they're going to help you earn bonuses. Okay. I'm not going to go into the detail of how those bonuses are earned because like I said earlier, I think that that makes more sense once you are an Emerald and I can show you and train you using your own back office when you have numbers to play with and coaches to play with. Okay. Right now, if I try to explain it, it's going to go way over your head and um, it's going to be very complicated it, because you're, you're, it's not happening. You're not in action with it. Um, but it's just, I want you to understand that if you ever want to make $1,000 a week in this business, let's say that's your goal, there's no way you're going to make that selling challenge packs. You need to build a team. When you start off this business, the, the, the majority of your income or all of your income is going to be commission-based. And your team cycle bonuses are going to be down here until you finally start to build a team. But slowly, that pendulum starts to switch and you come down here and your commission base is is actually maybe 10% of your income, whereas the other 90 will be your team bonuses, the bigger your team gets, okay? So it's really important to advance to Emeralds and really unlock um, those team cycle bonuses and start to earn them. You also unlock customer leads. I don't know if you guys know this, but Beachbody is the only MLM, and MLM star stands for multi-level marketing company, um, the only MLM 
that all of those infomercials you see on TV, all of maybe um, the, I know I have Comcast and while you're listening to music, there's advertisements coming up. All of the website orders that are, are happening, they don't keep those customers. They spit them right back out to the network of coaches. We really are in partnership with corporate. And so I think that's a really an amazing thing. And I hope you guys understand how special that is because Beachbody says, all right, if you are putting skin in the game and you are beginning to build your business, we are going to help you. And the way we're going to help you is that all those people that we're funneling through advertising, which they pay for, we are going to benefit from them and we are going to get those leads. But you have to, again, put skin in the game and at least show them that you're getting started by advancing to Emerald. These customer leads, when they are given to you, the first set of commissions does go to the company, the customer goes to you, and then anything thereafter that the customer purchases or whatever that customer does thereafter gets credited to you. You will earn those commissions. But just know that for customer leads, the first set of commissions does go to Beachbody and the customer is yours. Um, the third thing that's really important about advancing to Emerald is that you start to accrue carryover volume. Again, I'm not going to go too crazy into what this means, but just know this. You accrue volume with your team. So what your team um, produces, it, it's generated and you get credit for it, okay, as being the upline. Every week we cycle. So we get paid every week, every Thursday, and every Thursday we start from fresh. Okay. If there's ever a time that you did not cash out on volume because you didn't have volume on your right leg and your left leg um, at the right ratio to earn a bonus, that volume doesn't just get washed away and you're like, oh, too bad. You didn't hit, you know, your bonus. It actually gets saved in like a nice little piggy bank for you. So what you need to know about carryover over volume is basically it's like a savings account. And one way or another, you will cash it out as long as you never go inactive as a coach. And we'll talk about active status in a second. But it's really important to know that you get that piggy bank once you advance to Emerald. And then lastly, why Emerald? Because it's the start of your team. That's epic. That's a big deal. And um, without a team, you're not going to make it very far. You will be running a commission-based business only. And uh, like I said, if there's ever a time that you said, okay, you know what? I want to really generate $1,000 a week in this business. It will not happen on commission base unless you are a challenge pack selling machine. Um, that would take a lot. So it's the start of your team and you should be proud of that. All right. So success club, that's the second goal that we talked about. This little chart is, is very detailed. It's very detailed and, um, it gives you like the breakdown of how you can earn points. And when you get this recording, you can kind of pause on this chart and really um, soak it in. But let me make it simple. The bottom line is that there's only two ways to earn success though. If anybody tells you there's another way, they're lying. There are only two possible ways to earn success club. And that's to help a new person with a challenge pack that earns you two points, or to help a new person with Shakeology and it must be on home direct. Many of you are probably on home direct, which means that every 30 days you have your box in your front door and you don't have to ever worry about running out of Shakeology. If a customer places an order on one time, so they say, I don't want uh, um, auto ship, I just want one box, you will not get a point. And so a lot of times the way that I talk to customers about getting HD, I say, this is what I tell them. I said, well, listen, we have a special uh, shipping price for all HD orders. It's true. It's $2 shipping on all HD orders. If you order Shakeology on HD, you are not committed by any kind of contract. There's not going to be any cancellation fee. Um, nothing's going to happen if literally you get your box and that very second you call and cancel your HD. That's totally okay. But what I'd like you to do is put a reminder on your phone three weeks um, after drinking Shakeology because on the fourth week you're going to get charged and then decide whether you want to keep HD because funny enough, you might love it and want to continue, but still either way, reap the benefits of the $2 discount. Um, I'm sorry, the $2 shipping, which the normal shipping on a, a regular order is $12. So they save $10, you know, save the $10 and figure out if you want to cancel the HD afterwards. Okay. So that's how I talk to my new customers and I explain to them, um, why HD is beneficial. 
all challenge packs automatically come with HD. So keep that in mind, okay? Now, how to qualify for Success Club, the Success Club program. Just to give you kind of background, Success Club was created because it's, it's their way of saying, okay, how everybody wants to know how can they build their business at a good rate? How do they know they're doing enough? How do they know they're bringing in enough uh, new customers? How do they know they're building enough? Um, and so they created this system, this, and it's an incentive program actually, on to tell you whether you're doing enough to start to build your business. And essentially, um, if you get earn Success Club five at minimum, you're helping three people in a month. And Success Club runs from month end, from month start to month end. And you have in that time period to earn your points. If you earn five to nine points, you're considered Success Club five club qualified and you must also have 90 PV on HD for yourself okay um, I know PV you're still wondering well, what does PV stand for I'm gonna tell you real quickly it's personal volume everything we sell in Beachbody um, carries a point value for example Shakeology carries a 90 point value and so to be success club qualified you need 90 personal volume on home direct to qualify in addition to your five to nine points. Um, most people fill that qualification by having their own personal Shakeology order coming through. And it is very important as a coach to be drinking Shakeology. So um, most people, most coaches don't even worry about having that second part of the qualification because they are drinking Shakeology every single day like a good coach should. And then there's Success Club 10 Club, which is 10 points or more. And that means that you actually really knocked it out of the park and helped five or more people um, in the month period. And again, you had your 90 PV and HD. It, now, here's a little bonus. And I'd like you guys to know why Emerald and Success Club together, completing these two tasks together, are a good thing. Because if you're an Emerald and you are Success Club 10 qualified, you now are unlocking for yourself Success Club leads. And these are a little bit different than the customer leads we just talked about. Remember when I told you customer leads, uh, you, earn, you do not earn the commission on the first order. Beachbody keeps that commission and anything thereafter you keep. Well, with a Success Club lead, the very first set of commission is automatically given to you. And let me tell you, I have gone dual um, ultimate reset kits sold and I've gone it through a success club lead and right off the bat, it's $120 commission. So boom, for making sure that I'm an Emerald or more and making sure that I'm hitting success club 10 and helping five or more people a month, I'm really getting like great leads through the lead program. So at minimum, you're guaranteed a Shakeology order. Okay, but at maximum, I mean, you could get one of those dual packs come to you. And um, it's really random. We work off what's called a lead wheel. So just imagine like a wheel going around. And depending on how many points you earn that month, that's where you're placing the wheel. And as orders come in through all those other sources I told you about, they spit them back out on the wheel. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so that's Success Club, how to qualify. And then again, why Success Club? Well, like I said, it's your measure of how efficiently you're building your business. It, you also have the ability to earn free trips throughout the year. So a lot of us are leaving on a cruise on Saturday and all of us earned that trip through Success Club. How did we earn it? Well, for every Success Club point we earned through all of 2015, that gave us $10 towards our trip. Our total trip cost $1,100. So basically with 110 Success Club points in a whole year, we earned this cruise that we're about to take off on fully paid by the company. Like how awesome is that? Um, so you all have that ability. Uh, our 2017 trip is going to be Punta Cana. So if you are not signed up for that yet, um, which probably many of you guys are not because you're new coaches, you want to get on the wait list. There is a wait list for that. And then uh, the last thing is that you earn monthly prices. They're always coming up with cool stuff to give us, whether it's personal development books, whether it's wear and share. The other day I got in the mail a hammer and chisel shirt for earning success club last month. I think it was success club. Um, we've earned bobble heads, like little collector bobble heads. We've earned a lot of awesome stuff. So you earn monthly prices and they just keep it interesting. It's a great way to just incentivize yourself to hit success club. But more than anything, you should be fueled by wanting to build your business. All right. And then let me quickly tell you guys about success starters. 
Success club starters are coaches that come into the business and really are fired up and get stuff done. And what that means is that they hit success club their first, second, and third month of being a coach. And they are now, um, awarded a free ticket to coach summit. And you guys probably like, well, what's coach summit? Coach Summit is the biggest convention of the entire year. It's held once a year. Um, for many years, it was in Las Vegas, and we outgrew Las Vegas. Go figure. Um, we were too big for Las Vegas. I remember my first so, um, summit, we were about 7,000 strong. Well, the last summit, we were like 30,000 strong. And this one's projected to be about 60,000 strong. And so we moved to Nashville. Um, the price for a Coach Summit ticket is about, I think it's $395. And here you're getting that for free. If you show that you are really putting skin in the game and hustling. Um, let's say you joined, um, as a coach mid month or even the first week of the month. If you didn't qualify that month, you still have a chance. They kind of give you a chance that you could still earn the following month. And then the one after that and the one after that and still be qualified. So let's say, for example, what are we in March fit, uh, March 9th. 10th. Um, if you signed yesterday and you don't hit success club in March, you still got a shot at success starters. You can still earn your ticket. If, um, April, May, and June, you are success club qualified. So it's kind of like a little leeway, but if you do hit in March and you are badass, make sure that you follow that up with two more months because you will earn your free coach ticket to summit and summit is just a game changer. It really is guys. I mean, we get to work out with the personal trainers like live. You, I mean, you could smell their sweat. Um, we have like amazing parties, live workouts. You can see those two bottom pictures are from the super workout from the last two years. Uh, we also have like all night, every night is, um, partying and you see we, it's, it's our teen tradition to dress in red for the big final party. So you can see that. And it's just all around a really great experience. It's also, um, training based. So there's workshops. You'll learn a lot about the business to help, you know, build your business, take it to the next level. Uh, bottom line, somebody's is a game changer. And if you can earn your free ticket, man, I mean, you don't realize how big of an opportunity that is. All right, so let's jump over to commissions real quick. And I'm not gonna go really crazy into this, I'm just gonna give you the basics. The basics are that we earn 25% on any sale of product, programs, or supplements that we make, okay? Um, also, you know that as coaches, we uh, save 25% on anything we buy. But if you happen to sell, 25%. Now, you do earn 30% on all challenge packs or performance packs. Challenge packs are when you bundle Shakeology with a workout program, which is probably how many of you guys started. We also now recently came out with performance packs where you can get a program, pre-workout and post-workout together and bundle that. And you can also get 30% off of a performance pack sale. Uh, I love this. I love this because let me tell you, it was about a year into me being a coach that they came out with challenge packs and it was a game changer because they said, you know what? If a coach can get a new customer started right, because so many people like to cut corners, right? Either they only want to drink the shake because they don't want to put any work in, or they want to do a workout because they think that they have the nutrition under control and they don't realize that Shakeology works in them from the cellular level and does things that, I mean, are, are there's superfoods in there uh, that are all over the country that you cannot even find in this country. And it's in this shake that we can drink once a day that tastes delicious. Uh, they don't realize the value of it. There were so many people cutting those corners one way or another, and they weren't getting the full results they could possibly get. So they came out with challenge packs and said, okay, guys, if you get started right, and the right way is drinking your Shakeology once a day and getting your workout in, we will give you a bigger discount as a customer. So now you know challenge packs actually um, take off between anywhere between $50 to $80 off the entire purchase, okay? Or, and, and you as a coach, if you are able to get someone started right, forget 25% commission, we're going to give you 30. Mm -hmm. So we would all come really winning out of that deal. Um, and Beachbody, they may not come out winning at that very second because they're dishing out more money. But guess what? In the long run, they're coming out better because that's retention. When people learn to do it correctly, drink psychology and get their workout in. Okay. Not one is not more important than the other. All right, let's go into that PV real quick. 
PV, again, starts, stands for personal volume, okay? <laughs> personal volume is anything <coughs> you sell or you buy, personally, okay? So if you sell to a customer or you buy yourself, you accrue PV. So if you are on Shakeology HD, you automatically have 90 PV every month under you. All right, somebody, somebody's unmuted and it's a little distracting. If you could just make sure that you guys are muted. Thank you very much, Joe. Okay. Um, 50 PV is what is required to remain active as a coach. Okay, so just re always remember 50 is required to be active. That's the magic number. Um, I don't know what more to say about that. Just remember that number. And I hope that, that it makes sense to you about the point value system. If you kind of play around in the shopping cart where you can see everything that we have, you'll always see the price of, of let's say, 22-minute hardcore. And you'll see right underneath it the point value. Okay? So if you want to kind of surf around and see what everything's worth in points. But bottom line is that you always need to stay over 50 or if not, you will go inactive as a coach and that's no bueno because then you will not be able to earn commissions um, because you are listed as inactive. Okay. Quickly, three vital behaviors as a successful coach. And I put successful big because if you can successfully lead yourself to do these things every single day as a coach, you will thrive in this business. And that's a promise, okay? The first one is to go out there and invite, invite, invite. If you sit back and just hope and pray that somebody one day joins you, um, are you going to build a business? Yeah, but at snail speed, you got to go out there and talk about, invite. Um, you know, I just... I kind of weave it into my life. It is who I am. I, I kind of like identify myself as a beach body coach. Um, I love to work out. I always get questions from people when they see me in my gym clothes or my wear and share. Like right now, look, I'm even wearing share right now. I'm telling you, I live in this stuff. Uh, I always get questions. Um, but I'm constantly out there talking to people, creating relationships, and just being that voice of health and fitness for anybody and everybody around me. And I also threw it through social media. We know that social media is like golden for us, right? Um, could you run this business without social media? Sure. Could you go fishing without a fishing pole? Sure. Does the fishing pole make it way easier and more efficient? Yes. So does social media. Social media is giving you, um, so much more exposure and you can reach so many people that you would never reach on your day-to-day -day basis um, if you plan to build this business without it. So uh, invite, invite, invite is number one. Two, be a product of the product. There's no way you're going to convince someone to do something that you are not doing yourself. Promise. People can sniff it out. They can sniff it out if you are not drinking shit all your day and getting your workout. And you know how they can sniff it out? Because that conviction is not gonna come from you. If you are out there busting your butt every day, drinking your shade, doing your thing, reading your personal development, it's gonna come out of your pores how good you feel. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm not just saying this because it's a myth. No, it's scientifically proven you. It releases endorphins. You feel good when you take care of yourself. That's gonna come out of who you are. And people are gonna feel that from you, that vibe from you. So be a product of the product and stand by that. That is your responsibility as a coach. That's your job as a coach is to be a product of the product. So mean you drink Shakeology one day and then you forget for five days and then start drinking it again. You'll never be, um, you'll never have testimony. You'll never be a success story if you do it that way. That's not the correct way, okay? And then lastly, like we talked about personal development. I think personal development is the one thing that every coach tends to skip because they think they don't a need it or b um it's so easy to forget to, to stop and listen to a webinar or or read a book you know we live such a crazy life um we're always so busy but i pro I, I beg you guys to like look at your downtime whether it's on your drive to work you know through traffic or if it's on your train ride like i used to do when i was working in downtown you know i'd read a book or i listen to webinars in the car or at night instead of watching tv for the full hour for the first half hour i'd watch a webinar or read my book small little tweaks that you can make that'll make a huge impact okay give me one second
All right, we're not doing that bad on time. Okay, I promise that we are wrapping this up. All right, social media. This is the last topic for tonight, okay? And these are the tips that I have for a thriving business on social media. And yes, you are going to um, have to put yourself out there. You know, get a little comfortable, uncomfortable with, sorry, get a little comfortable with being uncomfortable to start off with when you start to like kind of ease your way into um, your identity as a coach. But like I said, social media is a tremendous tool in this business and you want to be able to learn how to maximize yourself on social media and really have a, a platform where you are inviting, where you're inviting and people want to know more about you and they want to connect with you because that's what it's all about. This business is not about being any kind of a, a, a fitness model, a nutritionist, a a trainer like that's not what we do what we do is create relationships and we are like that rock that um accountability partner that person that's going to tell someone else and inspire someone else to say if i can do this so can you let's do it together uh so that kind of relieves the pressure of you having to be any kind of perfect you don't but what you do need to do is efficiently put yourself out there who you are so that there's a way to connect to you and not come off as salesy because I don't know about you guys, but I don't, I don't want to be a salesperson. I don't even consider myself a salesperson. When I sell a challenge product, yes, I sell it, but I didn't do it as a means of buy this and then good luck and I walk away. No, before selling that challenge pack, I create a relationship. I added them to my, after that challenge pack sale, I added them to a challenge group and I really got to know them and I really got to like, uh, communicate with them, share ideas with them and associate with them. And that's creating relationships. So our job is not just to sell and walk away. That's sales. We create relationships and we build from there on. And so here's a couple of things to kind of make your social media that you can start right now to start building that kind of attraction. Um, you can, the first thing I can tell you is to make your screen name simple. So whether on Facebook, um, if you have some funky name, Make it something that people are going to recognize is you. Okay, that's one. It, your Instagram, if it's hot mama with a booty, uh, <laughs> nobody's going to know that it's you. I recommend that you put your name and then maybe something after that, a numbers or a nickname. Or if you're going to stick to branding yourself with a certain nickname, that's completely okay, but make sure that you stick to it and you're consistent with it. Like, for example, uh, Tanya, that's uh, one of Shanti's girls, um, She's branded herself Tanya the Machine, and everybody knows who Tanya the Machine is, but she's been consistent with building her, her brand with that name, and that's completely okay if that's what you plan to do. All right, second thing is have a public account. Now, whether a, the account you have right now, you do not want to make public for whatever reason, fine, create a new one for your business, but if you are going to keep your account, um, I kept mine. Open it up to public, and if, uh, for example, on Facebook, if there's something that's just really private, you don't want anybody else seeing but your your friends or your family, then um, you can filter that out through Facebook. They have abilities to filter out where each post you can filter out and say, okay, you know what, this one I only want my family to see. All right, but you do have to get out there and be public. There is a waste of your energy and time if you are putting um, material out on social media that's private. Nobody's going to see it. Nobody's going to see it unless they're already your friend and, and that's going to kind of limit you. Okay. Third, begin to organize a posting schedule. So the things that you want to kind of put on your mind to talk about, yes, the workouts, yes, our meals, yes, Shakeology, all that's your journey uh, when it comes to your, your fitness. But you know what? People are really going to connect to who you are. That is your value in this business. Remember that people can buy a challenge pack or program from 400,000 other coaches, but no, they're choosing to buy from you because they like you, because they feel um, like they can trust you or you inspired them or you got them motivated to get up and do something. So you got to go out there and share things about you that's going to allow people to connect with you and pick you. Uh, 
all of you on this call know that I'm a mother of three. You probably know my story. You know that I retired myself as a paralegal. You know that I went through a lot of stuff when Mia was born. You know that I also gained 70 pounds in my pregnancy. Like my story has been breadcrumbed out into social media in different ways. Okay, not all at one. I didn't vomit it all at one second. I breadcrumbed it out little by little, but I really gave people a sense of who I am so that the right people align themselves with me. And it's a really beautiful thing. And um, you can do this in many ways with your humor. If you think something's funny, post it because people can see your humor. Uh, if I curse, I do. <laughs> so if I curse in a post, I'm not, I'm not embarrassed about that because that's me. And so the right people are going to align themselves with me. Um, the different hobbies I have outside of fitness, I like to do my nails. I love manicures. I love bathing suits. I love the pool, the beach, wine, all these things. People that are following me know that about me. And so you got to kind of organize yourself with your posting and say, am I officially getting out there who I am? Okay. And then let me give you the jab, 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 right hook theory. And this comes from a book by Gary. I call him Gary V because I cannot pronounce his last name. But he's actually going to be the keynote speaker at Summit this year. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But this book really taught me how to run my business on social media. And I'm just going to break it down very simple for you. He, um, he uses a boxing analogy, you know, boxing, jab, 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 right hook. If you guys ever did combat, you know how to do right hook and jabs. Um, the jabs. What are your jabs? You're going out there, you're talking about your mom, your paralegal, you're doing fitness, you love to sing, uh, whatever it is about you, those are all jabs. But there's going to come a time if you want to be able to impact someone and get them to join you. So now your social media is not just this one big journal or diary, but actually a business um, machine where you're using to generate new leads is you have to come in for that hook. And that hook is when you talk about that, that you are in business, that yeah, you're all these great things, but you have the ability to help someone out and that your followers have a place in your life. They have a place in this whole thing. And we, the right hooks are things like when you invite to your challenge groups, when you um, talk about the business opportunity that you became a coach, um, when you attend an event and you're out there talking about an event, you invite to the event. Um, all these types of things are showing people that you, they have a place in what you're doing and you are in business. If you're only out there talking about posting your food every day, posting your Shakeology every day, posting your workout and talking about your kids, all everyone's going to think is, well, that's really great for Alex. Look at her go. She looks fantastic. That's it. They're going to have no idea they have a place in what you're doing. So you got to make sure that you're coming in for those right hooks also. And I kind of like to take a step back and say, okay, for example, Instagram. In the last six to nine posts that I put out, does somebody get a clear picture of who I am and what I do? All right. So I got to be consistent. I'm getting out there. Who I am, what I do. Who I am, what I do. Facebook, same thing. If you do two scrolls, and you haven't figured out who you are and what you do in those two scrolls, then you're not being consistent enough with your jab, jab, jabs and your hooks. If you're coming in for a bunch of jabs and never a right hook, you are going to look like you have a great hobby. But if you come in for right hook, right hook, right hook, right hook, and you never throw any jabs, then you're going to look salesy. Okay. You're going to come off as salesy. Like you just want to sell somebody. So sorry, that was a mosquito. Um, so both are equally important, okay? Jabs are your connection, hook is your invitation. All right, this is the last thing, guys, I promise, and then I'm gonna probably let you go. Hold on. I want you guys to watch this quick video that I did for the push on social media do's and don'ts. Hey guys, Monica Lopez here. Welcome to week four, day two of the push. I'm really excited about today's topic. It's fun to me. It's social media. And basically, I'm just going to pour all of my knowledge into you guys, all the tools that I use to create eye-catching posts, whether it's a video, whether it's a photo, whether it's a quote, whether it's my next challenge group or business opportunity call. You want to make sure that what you're putting out into social media world is eye-catching because you want to grab your readers' attention, your followers' attention, your friends' attention. And so what I'm going to share with you guys are a couple of tools um, that I have kind of put together for you 
as my arsenal of, <laughs> of apps and websites. But before we go into that, let's talk about what our end goal is, okay? Our end goal is basically to stop scrollers, right? It's so easy, we know, to go onto Instagram, Facebook, and scroll, 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 or go through a news feed, and yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. And But there's one person that puts out this one photo, or this one quote, or this one thing that just catches our attention. You want to be that person. You want to be also the person that your followers log into to find out about, you know? Is there somebody out there that every single day you want to hear from them? And so that is our end goal. Uh, we want to stop scrollers and second, make a connection with them, with whatever we're saying. Um, I loved how Sadia Monte put this on our team call the other day. She says, you know, the way you know if you're adding value or not to your posts is once you put something out there, you stop and ask yourself, and? And what, what's the purpose behind what I'm saying right now or what the photo I'm putting out there? Um, and you know, guys, adding value can come in so come can come in so many ways. It doesn't mean each post has to be a long, drawn out, passionate, um, heartfelt post, or a, you know, you breadcrumbing your story. It can simply be a one liner that shows how funny you are, or or what you find funny. Um, but nonetheless, just kind of step back and say. Does this have value? Is this going to tell a little bit more about me or about my story? Or is it going to give somebody a way to connect to who I am? Okay. And then the fourth thing is avoid spamming. We want to avoid spamming. We want to avoid being like every other person, right? Or even other companies out there on social media promoting their products. Um, we don't want to be that join me, uh, click here, buy from me, ask me how. We don't want to be that way. We, this business really thrives on connections, on personal connections that you make with people out there. And so you want to put your personal touch into everything that you do. You want to brand yourself and not the product. So avoid spamming. All right. So with that said, um, I put together a couple of do's and don'ts that I think are just important to keep in mind. The first is to stay away from blurry photos. It's, it's just that simple. It's, 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 much more pleasing on the eye when it's crisp, clean, um, and it just kind of shows that you took a little bit of time to get it right. Uh, this was very simple for me to find because I put the same quote in Google, and I found one that was low quality, and I found one on like a couple um, spaces down, uh, perfect quality, very crisp and clean. So it's just a matter of picking the right one. If you pull up something on Google and you realize that it's not great quality, go find another one, all right? So simple enough. No blurry photos. No busy photos, and definitely you don't want to publicly post your link. Those things scream salesperson. As you can see, the, the, the image on the left just looks busy. It looks um, like a billboard. It looks like somebody, you know, just trying to sell, sell, sell. Where on the right, it says, I can, you can. And it's basically showing, um, you know, if anybody that's been following me for a while knows I'm a mother of three, I struggle um, with loose skin, stretch marks, the works. I've gained over 70 pounds of my pregnancies. And I'm telling them, if I can, they can. Um, and that's something that's going to stop a fellow mommy out there and say, man, you know what? I really want to hear what she has to say today. Or what words of motivation does she have? Okay. So try to stay away from busy photos and definitely don't post your link. That should always be done privately. Challenge groups. The one on the left, there's nothing wrong with the information that's on it, but I can tell you two things wrong. Um, it just looks like an advertising, um, just, you know, informational advertising. And second, what's being branded here is a 21 day fix where on the right, you can see, um, there's no mention of the 21 day fix. In fact, I urge you guys to get creative of the name of your challenge groups. This one I called a fitness mentorship. And the biggest um, piece of gold on this post is that it has my face on it because I'm branding me. I am branding what I have to offer. If I branded a 21 day fix, then I would be like 400 thousand other Beachbody coaches out there. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you're posting about a challenge group, you don't have to get super busy in the actual image that you're using. You could use all that info that's on the left, you could use that in the body of your post, but for the eye-catching visual aid that you wanna put out there to get in, um, new customers to join you, you definitely wanna have your, your face and something just simple and straightforward. Okay, business opportunity. Um, I, I just 
same concept. You know, you want to have your face on it. Here you can have you can see Stephanie Chico. It's just her and it says, make your fitness your business. Crisp, clean. She, if you follow her story, you know she's also a mother. Um, and she's defeated a bunch of uh, postpartum odds. So you kind of connect with her way more than the photo on the left that just says, join me. You can earn money, get a discount, look good, and work from home. Ask me how. See, that, that, there's no connection made there whatsoever. Transformation. Um, the biggest no-no that I see on transformations, especially on Instagram, because you can't actually like click on the photo and zoom in, is a very busy collage of results. Those results on the left are just as impactful as the results of, that you see on the right by Christina, but you can't tell them because they're so small. And uh, also what I also see in this is that Christina's transformation photos just tell a story, right? It shows a pregnant mom and the postpartum little infant and then how um, she's come along um throughout the years and is like super duper fit so those things tell a little bit more of a story than just flat out um side by side photos so side by side photos still work um if you're like for example promoting a transformation post a program that you just completed from start to finish but i would stick with one pose at a time if you've got two really great poses fantastic save it for another day um, you don't have to divulge it all out at one time. You can sprinkle it out little by little. So pick one for one post and then use the other pose for another time. Shakeology. Okay, so I think a big no-no is either posting just your shaker cup or just your bag of Shakeology, especially this photo here where it's really dark and gloomy and it doesn't make Shakeology look all that great. But then you hear, have you heard the right, Lily Rubio, I think we could, we could, um, title her the queen of Shakeology. All of her shakes look so delicious on social media. Um, and so here she is with her face, again, branding herself um, and holding this delicious, eye-catching shake. And of course, in the body of her post, she's gonna post there that it's a Shakeology and she's gonna give her recipe and she's going to tell her followers why she drinks this shake every single day. Never mind that it looks delicious. Um, so I see this as so much more impactful than just putting a shaker cup or just putting your bag of Shakeology or putting uh, your blender or whatnot. Okay, so um, those are a couple of do's and don'ts that I figured I just should throw out there to you guys. Um, so here are my most used apps and sites. For fonts and photo edits, I use Fonto, Adis, PixArt, WordSwag, and Camera Plus. Videos, Splice, and Pick Play Post. And then via PC, PickMonkey.com and Canva.com. All right. All right, all right. So that was a social media do's and don'ts call that I had done for the push. And um, I hope that all made sense to you. And for those webinars on those applications, I can post them in the team page if anybody wants them. All right, so guys, that's it. We're gonna wrap this up and I'm going to just give you the call to action for tonight. Um, the call to action is AKA homework. First and foremost, make sure that um, you complete the new coach kickoff guide. If you don't know where it's at, um, ask me or ask your upline coach that um, invited you to this training tonight uh, so we can tag you on it and you have access to it. Uh, it. All that information is really vital to understand. Two, set up your links. Don't forget to set up your links to your websites. Three, your direct deposit. Again, reminder. Um, four, come out as a coach. It's time. It's time you sign up as a coach. Now let's get to work. Um, let's get out there. Invite, invite, invite. And if you need help on how it is, you can come out on the social media world as a coach in the new coach kickoff guide. There are some examples there. And feel free to edit or add your little touch to it, whatever you want to do. But it's imperative if you truly want to start building your business that you start telling people what you're doing. And then soon after that, announce your first challenge group. We didn't go into challenge groups tonight, but I am going to post in our team page um, how you can access challenge group guides uh, to help you get started. But I think many of you on this call have been a part of a challenge group already and you understand what it takes. So that's it, folks. Congratulations. I know you think that this sounds so cliche, but it's the truth. You just changed your life with this business by joining. Um, now it's up to you on what you're going to do with it. This can be something that completely changes your life, um, gets you healthy, feeling better than ever, 
earning an income that um, it's really amazing that a business like this exists. If anybody has ever been in business before, if you've been an entrepreneur um, in your life, you understand that when you start a business, you usually end, start a negative and you stay that way for a couple of years before you can make back the investment you put in to start your business. Um, I know my, my sister started a dollar store at one point and it was like, I think 30 or $50,000 that she had to invest to start it. And she didn't see that money for a couple of years afterwards. Um, this business you sign up and if you're smart enough, you did it with a challenge pack and you sign up for free and your only overhead a month is 1595. And if you sell one Shakeology or one challenge pack, you're in the plus. This is a really amazing business and something that you can really grab a hold of and run with. So I hope this has been helpful to you guys tonight. Hold on. Let me stop the screen share for a second. Give me one second. All right. Oh God, I see stuff in chat. I'm sorry. I could not see the chat while I was screen sharing. All right. Let's see. What an annoying teacher and project. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I was just about to write a Oh, Alex, um, Success Cup Starters. It's, yes, uh, someone's on a wait list, but they have put aside a certain amount of tickets for only Success Cup Starters. So if you do hit Success Cup Starters, you are guaranteed your ticket. Don't worry about that. Um, what recommendations do I have for personal development books? Well, first and foremost, um, GoPro, if you're serious about this business and you want to know about more about multi-level marketing and how you can really thrive in network marketing, because that's what we do, read GoPro. Uh, the second book, if uh, a real a personal development for you to uh, grow and learn, um, one of the ones that really impacted me was You Are a Badass. I love that one. Uh, really spoke to me. And every single chapter, one thing I've learned about all, you know self-help books and personal development books is, is that you kind of get the gist of what the whole book's about in the first couple of chapters, and then every other chapter is just reiterating it in another way. For me, You Are a Badass, every single chapter was something different in life. She did a really great job putting that together. Uh, let's see. Can you show us your FB as an example? Well, I hope those do's and don'ts helped, Leo. If it didn't, let me know what you would like me to show you about my Facebook. Um, what programs do you use to make these different images? Haha, ha, never mind. Okay, got that. <laughs> uh, Paula, give me your face and say, okay. So, anything else, guys? You can unmute yourselves, talk to me, give me your feedback. Again, this is the first time I've ever done a power hour like this. I know it probably feels like a lot, and it is a lot to digest. This is being recorded, so you can refer back to it anyway. But I think that for a lot of you guys, I've just been noticing more and more and more that coaches are joining the team and they really want to get a run on their business. And they don't want to wait for 10 days to pass to go through training. So I decided to do something like this. Anybody have anything they want to say? In five, four, three. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Two, one, no questions. All right, guys, we'll call it a night. Does anybody want to come over and help me do these duckies? No, no, no takers. Leo has a question. Who? Go, go, go. Are you doing this as your main job? Is this all you're doing? Yes, yes. I joined as a coach about five years ago. Um, I took kind of almost a year off because I signed as a coach and a month later I found out I was pregnant with my third child. So that kind of like slowed me down a little bit. But then once I had her, um, I really went crazy into this business and decided that I wanted to um, make it my sole job. And I quit my job two and a half years ago with paralegal to do this. Before. All right. Thank yeah. you. Definitely opportunity. Like I said, wherever you guys want to take it, you can go. Christina Delgado, which is our upline, um, Diesel, one of the Diesel Nation founders, she was actually my boss. I don't know if you guys know that. She was the attorney I worked for, and she also quit about four months after I quit the office, and now she's doing this full-time, too, with her sister, which you guys will meet soon if you haven't yet. Anything else, guys? Money-wise, commission-wise, okay. if you want to set a goal for yourself, and I want to make, I don't know, X amount of money every week. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to do the math 
and figure out how, what I have to sell in order to make this much every week. So say I want to make $100 a week. Mm -hmm. What is that math? What, is, what do those sales look like? Well, bottom line is if you, everything you sell, you're going to get 25% um, commission. But I beg you to really understand, to, to, to let the concept sink in that the way you're really going to make money in this business is by building a team of coaches. Um, if you solely rely on commissions, you're going to be capped. There's only so much, you know what I mean? That you can like humanly sell without making this business being a selling machine. And I, and to me, that's a real turnoff. I don't want to be that person. Um, if you are that person and you're good at it, well go, go for it. But I think the answer to this question more than anything is really concentrate on beginning to build your team. And once you have a team and you have that volume coming in, I can help you reverse engineer your business to what your team volume needs to look like so you can make certain um, residual income, okay? Uh, I hope that makes sense. Does that make sense, Alex? It does, yeah. Okay, okay, because that's the right answer. Because right now if I tell you, okay, well, you wanna make $100, sell two challenge packs a month because that's 50 and 50, right? If you sell $160 challenge pack, I think it's $50 commission. I can tell you that, but I know that you're not going to really thrive by um, running. Yeah, but that's one week. It's not every week. So the other weeks would have to be based on team. Right. That's what I'm saying. So if it's once a week, you want to make a hundred dollars and you go, and you're relying on commission only, then you're going to need to sell two challenge packs a week. And we know that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot. Well, so <laughs> the key really is to start building a team of coaches. And here's another thing that I'm going to tell you guys. Um, a coach doesn't necessarily have to be someone that wants the business built. Some people come into this business wanting to business build because they see the opportunity, they see the potential, and they're, they're entrepreneurs at heart, and they, they want to take off and do something. Um, but other people just want a discount on their psychology and their workout programs, but they still play a role in your organization. Having a discount coach is not a waste. It still takes up a spot, and it still adds a team volume, will, which will eventually turn into residual income. So if you have anybody that's been buying Shakeology from you on a month to month basis, present them with being a discount coach. They're gonna save money. In fact, you're doing them an injustice if you don't because they're losing money. The, the difference by the way is $18 versus being a coach and being a discount coach and being a regular customer. You save $18 as a discount coach. Okay. Anything else guys? All right, now for the hard painful part for me. Give me feedback. Was this helpful? Did it feel like too much? Um, would you recommend this to your new coaches that join your team? What was your take? I always like to get feedback. Good, loose. I, I can only see one person right now. Hold on, let me change my screen. Good guys, helpful. Jessica, you just joined our team today and you're on the call. Was it good? Do you feel overwhelmed? <laughs> I promise little by little it makes sense. This was more helpful than the 10 day training. Yeah. Like a lump sum than spread over 10 days. And you're one of the people that joined our team that really opened my eyes to that. To be honest with you. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm being serious. Some people like to just give it all to me and, and I love to take notes and then run. Um, yeah. so I'm glad. Yeah. This is very helpful. And I'm thinking that this is a great video to show to the people when I, grow the cojones to start a team <laughs> <laughs> don't be afraid there's nothing to be afraid about you know what guys think about this and i know some of you guys just join as a coach but many of you guys have been customers for a while are you upset with the person that invited you to do this business or to become a coach or even to buy a challenge back do you feel like they did you they did you wrong do they feel like they cheated you are you enjoying yourself? I just joined and um, I think the person, Paola, that, that got me involved, just like you said, it's all about conviction. I believe that she believed in it and I can tell you believe in it and that motivates me, inspires me. There you go. But I like that. The, you know, but the heart of it is, are you doing the workouts? Are you drinking Shakeology? Are you feeling it? Are you really that beach party blue when it comes to that feeling? I've, I've done P90X a few times and I just started Ooh. again. 
I believe in it 100%, and I've been promoting it for free for years. <laughs> you want to know. So <laughs> now, like, oh, man, if I would have known how many people I've told about this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a guy started his own gym just because I started talking about it like three years ago. So crazy, crazy. Now I'm going to start getting paid. Yeah, there you go. There's no, And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. There are plenty of services out there that people get paid for. You should have absolutely no shame in that. And people will be proud for the help that you give them to that you earn a commission. I mean, there's just nothing wrong with that. So guys, erase that from your mind. That's a limiting belief that you are imposing on yourself and yourself only. Trust me when I say that. Because once you branch out and you say, I, you know, I don't care. I'm, I'm going to let go of all inhibition and just do this and just tell people what I really think, you're going to see how they're going to gravitate towards you. Because again, I ask you, do you feel cheated? Because I don't. I'm having the time of my life. All right. We'll leave it there, guys. I got some duckies to paste. Uh, if you have any questions, if I can help in any way, please feel free to message me on Facebook and have a great night. Bye.